negative reinforcement versus positive reinforcement. Many people use body pressure, consciously or unconsciously, to get their dogs to move in certain ways. Most trainers would classify this as negative reinforcement. Negative reinforcement is defined as removing something aversive to increase the occurrence of a behavior. In this case, pushing into the dog's space is aversive or unpleasant, and she will work to avoid it. This escape action on the dog's part results in the dog moving in the direction the human wanted. Here are some human volunteers showing the use of body pressure to get someone else to move. After some experience, dogs typically learn to move away with only the smallest threat of movement from the person. If there is a verbal cue associated with the person's movement, the cue becomes associated with the threat of being walked into. Sadly, I used this method long ago with my dogs. I no longer do it, but they sure remember. I filmed it once so others can see the result. Even though I no longer walk into their space, they still have a very negative association with the cue. Let's go down. Let's go down. Summer girl, let's go down. Good girl. This is pretty sad, not to mention ineffective. I decided to train the dogs to go down the steps using positive reinforcement instead. Here's how I did it. yard. Okay, yard. Yes. Yard. Yes. Now let's compare the negatively reinforced with the positively reinforced behaviors. Let's go down. Yard. Yes. Which method will you choose for your dog? You're good at that. <laughs> You're a little too good at that, Missy.